In the previous video, we used a 2x2 two two contingency table and calculated the chi-square value of the distribution between the link between gender and cat preference here. We got this table. We calculated the chi-square value to 0 0.3735. And what we want to do now is we really want to calculate the p-value, the probability to make this observation if we assume that there is no link present. And that is very easily done in Excel. It has a preformed um, equation for that. So to calculate this p-value that corresponds to 0 0.3735 chi-square value, we use the function equals chi-square dot dist dot rt. The rt is important because, as we have seen in the previous video, we are interested only in the uh, right tail of the chi-square distribution. And the equation asks us for the chi-square test, that is this one, and it is also asking us for the degrees of freedom. And uh, for the degrees of freedom for a 2x2 two two table, we can very easily calculate this uh, degrees of freedom because the equation for degrees of freedom in a case like that so uh, degrees of freedom equals the number of rows minus one times the number of columns minus one. So we have two rows here. We have two rows, loves cats and hates cats, so that would be 2 minus 1. And we also have two columns, that's the gender variable, male and female, so that's also 2 minus 1 in this case. So uh, this would give us exactly one degree of freedom that we have here. So all we need to do is we need to uh, calculate our p-value equals chi-square dist right type and we have our the chi-square value 0 0.3735 and one degree of freedom and we get a p-value, and I'll make this a little bit larger, of 0 0.54. And we now can use this p-value and actually say, uh, how does this p-value relate to our alpha significance level? Well, if we set the alpha significance level to 0 0.05, we find that the p-value is much larger than the uh, alpha. So p is larger than alpha. And therefore, we can uh, say p is uh, high. And therefore, the null hypothesis, null hypothesis would be accepted. Uh, or rather, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So we say there is, this doesn't seem to be a link between the two variables. It is equally likely for a female to love cats and or hate cats than it is for a male. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.